So good morning. Um, I just got out of church and I attend River Ridge and I'm the owner of Create Studios and uh, Create Studios Education Training Center and soon to be Crush It, uh, which is a glass bar. But anyway, um, the message that the Lord gave me today was that uh, I need to use the studio as a place that not only my uh, my talents but the talents of my artists and that that we serve uh, using those talents that God's gifted us but more than anything I'm looking at the model of River Ridge um, we do a dollar club every uh, month we put in a dollar and it goes towards either a community uh, or a a business or just a ministry that someone has um, the Lord has led them to do and so you know the word I received this morning basically was that create studios um, needs to be giving back to uh, community to individuals who are serving the Lord with their gifts and talents and to empower them uh, monetarily as well as through prayer that we give back. So um, I'm gonna talk to my team of artists and talk to them about how we as a team of artists that work at Create uh, uh, using our gifts and talents because Create is more than just an art studio. Um, it's a ministry that the Lord has given me. Uh, Pre-pandemic, it was all about me. Uh, I, in my own strength, what I tried to do for the studio and then it got shut down. But uh, the rebirth of Create is a foundation in Christ. Um, so that rock is is him. Uh, my partner uh, in the studio is uh, God. And so as he directs uh, and leads, I step up uh, to the call uh, in acting in obedience to following of what he wants the studio to represent and what he wants to do. So, so far, uh, the word that I've received from him is the fact that the studio needs to be a lighthouse in the community. And as we, uh, that's how like the education training center came to play which will be opening soon. We're already running some nonprofits through there as well as individuals who have written books and um, you know, just platforms of like SHIELD is coming in to talk about abuse. Uh, we have, you know, uh, HOPE, which is also Stamping with HOPE, but she's gonna do a suicide awareness and prevention uh, workshop. So, you know, with with that training center comes education. Um, you know, Free My People is all about empowering and, and, and the word God's given me is through knowledge and education. Uh, we can't change what we don't know. And so when we know and we are aware, we can no longer turn our heads on it. And so like that is a big, part of the the training center is to to empower people uh in visions that god has given them that you do not have to have a title or a degree uh to be validated as worthy um you if god calls uh, he equips and um he will complete that mission in you so you know, it can be the average Joe. It doesn't have to be like those people with the titles behind them. Uh, sometimes a college degree does not necessarily give you the knowledge that you need to be impactful and powerful. But like when you've walked through things in life and you've overcome them and risen from them, there comes a knowledge of life experience of God's wonder working power, where he's a way maker, where he makes a way where there was no way. And, you know, God trumps trauma. And so I really want the studio to become a lighthouse in the community. Uh, I hate videos. I don't like hearing my own voice. I don't like seeing myself on camera. But today I got the word was to make this video. Um, 
I'm the owner. Um, and it's kind of like what he's shown me is I'm the composer. I am composing. I mean, he's the ultimate composer and the conductor, but like the vision he's given me in my head is like, Karen, you're the composer. You're going to assemble this team through listening to me and they will be the conductors to conduct what is necessary that I want to happen to the community and through the studio. And so my greatest joy is not from so much teaching uh, each craft, but it's empowering other people to go out and be the hands and the feet of Jesus, like to train them, to teach them so that they can go spread the joy uh, through art. Um, and so Create is now like, uh, it's a ministry in which you are uh, creating hope and creating community, creating peace, creating transformation, creating wholeness. So it's more than just creating art. It's using art as therapy. But it's also about growth mentality. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, this is like what I hope to accomplish uh, through the studio and so God is giving me little pieces bit by bit and I hope that we can together as a community make a difference and to spread the gospel and to spread the light into the dark places that we often hide from that we aren't always aware of and even if we're aware of it we're hiding we're hiding in shame um, so God has just given me word that we no longer need to hide and that nothing is wasted and that he can use the leftovers in our lives. And when life crushes you, if we just flip the mental mindset and uh, we can crush it. And so transformation and hope is on the horizon. Uh, just pick up your mat and, and take that step and start walking towards the light. So... Thank you for all of those who come out and support the studio and our great um, encouragers. And um, I hope that you are, you know, not running anymore. I hope that you come to a place of truth where you can face you, face all that you've done, own it as your story, and just know that God's in it. He is going to use that. And um, yeah, so I sit before you today on this video just sharing these truths. And thank you again for uh, just supporting the arts and supporting the ministry here at Create. And have a wonderful day. Blessings.